Hello, I'm Kylie and welcome to the five senses. What would you rather eat? An onion? Mm. <laughs> or a peach? Mm. Which would you rather smell? A smelly shoe? Ooh. Or a nice flower? What would you prefer to touch? A prickly pine cone or a soft blanket? Answering these questions means that you have understood and used your senses, and you actually have five of them. Let's learn about your five senses. The human body is made up of five senses. You can taste with your mouth, hear with your ears, touch with your hands, smell with your nose, and see with your eyes. Your senses help to protect you. They also help you to learn about and enjoy your world. Think of your senses as a news reporter for your brain. Your senses send information along a chain up to your brain informing it of danger, safety, joy, and pain along with many other sensations. Let's look at each sense separately. From the time we are babies, we learn that the sense of taste is very important. We taste food and drinks with the taste of our taste buds, which are tiny bumps found on our tongue. While we use our whole mouth to eat, there are four main flavors we can taste on our tongue. Salty, sweet, sour, bitter. Because foods and drinks get mixed up in our mouth, we can taste different flavors at once, like salty pistachio sprinkled over sweet ice cream. Mmm. Sometimes a rotten taste alerts you that a food has gone bad. It makes you want to spit it out so it won't make you sick. Did you know that we also taste food with the help of the nose? Let's learn about the sense of smell next. The nose is an organ used to smell. We all have differently shaped noses, but on the inside, noses are quite similar. I know you might not want to, but let's take a closer look inside the human nose to learn how the nose smells. The inside of the nose is lined with mucous membranes, and these membranes have receptors, or smell cells, that connect to the olfactory nerve the nerve that leads from the nose all the way up to the brain. When things in our environment give off a smell, or fumes, they react with the receptors and they send a message to the brain. The brain understands the scents and puts them into seven main categories. Putrid, flower, acrid, ether, mint, musk, camphor. Whoa, that's a lot of kinds of scents. <laughs> Do you know some of them? I bet you know flower and mint. The nose and tongue are a team. They work together to taste. You could also try tasting food and blocking your nose and bite into something. Taste anything? Have you ever laughed really hard when drinking water and then water came out of your nose? That is how you know that your mouth and your nose are connected. When you have a cold, your sense of smell doesn't work as well because your mucous membranes are inflamed. This is why you may not smell or taste anything at all when you're sick. Huh? Huh? Choo! Whew! Bless me! Your nose helps protect you, just like all the other senses. The smell of something burning in the oven might make you turn it off before a fire starts. It also warns you of food gone bad so you don't eat it and get sick. Now let's investigate the sense of sight. Our eyes are really special because they help us to see all the beautiful people, colors, and things in our world. 
The outside of our eyes is only part of the picture. There's a lot going on behind the eye that helps us see. The lens at the front of the eye helps to focus images onto the retina, which is at the back of the eye. Light and color that enters the eye are sent to the brain through the optic nerve. Did you know that the images are actually sent upside down and the brain turns them right side up? It's pretty amazing. To know how much we depend on our eyes, try playing a game with a friend where you put on a blindfold. Let your friend guide you around the room and see how tricky it is to do it without your sense of sight, even if someone is helping you. The sense of touch helps protect our bodies from harm. This is why we don't only feel with our hands, we feel with our entire bodies because we have nerve endings all over our bodies through our skin. These nerve endings tell our brain when we are in danger or when we are feeling something nice. Some parts of our bodies have more nerve endings than others. Our lips, fingertips, and palms have a lot of nerve endings. Can you guess why? Our bodies protect us from food that is too hot or too cold, or from touching things that are too sharp and too dangerous, or letting us know when something is soft or cuddly. There are four kinds of sensations we feel through the skin. Heat, cold, contact, and pain. And finally, the sense of hearing, which happens with our ears. But you guessed it, just like the other senses, there's a lot going on inside the ear, just as there is going on on the outside of the ear. The outer ear works like a cup. It catches sound waves from our environment and brings them inside to the inner ear, also called the cochlea. This spiral-shaped tube takes vibrations and makes them into sounds. These sounds are then sent to the brain through another important nerve in the body called the auditory nerve. The brain is what tells us what the sound is and how loud it is and where it's coming from. Because of our sense of hearing, we can enjoy music, distinguish different voices, and know if danger is near, like when we hear a fire alarm. And as you can see and hear, the five senses are important for daily function. Our senses work together to help us with our daily activities, so it's important to take care of our bodies. If you'd like to learn more about the five senses, jump right in and play our fun online games. Remember, always be clever. Hey, hey.